So there are some national stereotypes about how people in East Asia deal with science and technology. For instance, Japanese people are techie or Korean children are good at maths, in contrast to the stereotype of British people that they have a version to maths. In science and civilization in East Asia, we'll take these examples as a start point to think more broadly and critically about how science and technology developed in East Asia while interacting with elements of culture and civilization there. So in each week, we'll pick a theme and examine a number of key issues, for instance, colonialism, nation building, Cold War, and globalization. So, for instance, one of the themes of the week is technology of time. And in that week, we'll examine how the development of a new kind of clocks during the late 19th century in Japan reflected the efforts within Japan to build a modern nation and also the emergence of a new concept of timekeeping, which is linked to the culture of punctuality obsession in Japan today. The course adopts the perspective of social and cultural history, so it's open to anyone who is interested in history. One of the main aims of the course is to contextualize the kind of stereotypes I mentioned earlier about people's attitudes to science technology, and really to make you aware that science was indeed interwoven with civilization, history, and culture. So I would particularly welcome students who are interested in East Asian history and culture, and also science students who are interested in getting to know more about the historical development of what they study every day. I hope to meet you soon in the class. Thank you.